This is a quick video for mappers who want to get their work added to the largest Quake archive in the universe, and for Quake fans looking for a ton of maps and mods. This episode is a sequel of sorts to how to release your map. If you haven't seen that, make sure and follow the link below after you watch this. There's important information in that episode I won't repeat here. So why two videos on releasing a map? Well, this time I'm specifically talking about Quadicted. It's an amazing resource and probably the best place to release a map. There's more than just maps there. Quadicted is a massive archive with thousands of files, mods, websites, and all kinds of Quake-related information, and a forum. Some of the articles and general information on the site is a bit outdated, but that's not a huge issue when it comes to your maps. So let's talk about how to get your map submitted there. The first thing to remember is the Single Player Map Archive is a complex database. It compiles two rating systems, rankings, tags, screenshots, demos, and other data that are all tied to a tool called the Quake Injector. The Injector is a Java application Quake players can use to browse a giant database and instantly download and play maps and mods. It's very easy for the player, but requires a bit more care and handling when submitting maps. I highly recommend you take a look at the How to Package and Release Your Map page at Quadicted. I have that link below. So the first thing to remember about submitting your map to Quadicted is that files cannot be updated once they are added. This is not a place to put a work in progress or something you may revise at a later date. Quadicted is only for final releases. Make sure and double check that everything is included and correct before sending your map. This is extremely important. The next thing is to have a good naming scheme for your map. I use the title of the map myself. If the map title's really long, you can use an acronym or your initials. Find a system that works for you. For example, this one is called Diggs04. The map author is Diggs, and this is his fourth map release. So keep the name of your map simple, and make sure the name has not been taken by checking the database ahead of time. The link to the map archive is right near the top of the page. The search function is excellent. This is important. Make sure your file name uses only alphanumeric characters, no spaces, and is all lowercase. Your archive must have a readme file with your contact info and some information about the map. It's a good idea to name the readme file the same as your map name. Next, create a zip file with your BSP and README text. If you used colored lights, you'll want to include the .lit file, and it's always a good idea to share your map source. I went into more detail about that in the Release Your Map video I mentioned earlier. It's important not to use 7-zip or RAR for your archive. Please use the zip format. I have a separate Quake installation for testing my zip files. I highly recommend you do this. It's really an easy thing to do, and it'll save you some heartache if you've made some mistake. You don't need to submit a screenshot of your map. One of the admins will load up your map to check it and take a screenshot in addition to ranking your map. When you're ready, simply email the file to Spirit who maintains Quadicted along with Neki and no nickname. His contact information is on the page I mentioned earlier. It's also a good idea to make an account and politely post in the forum that your map is ready for upload. If you want to send a link instead of an attachment, it's important not to use Dropbox, Google Drive, or other similar hosting solutions. You should use the Internet Archive or Quaketastic or another site that uses direct download links. All this may seem a bit restrictive, but it's the system the admins have put in place, and if you respect the process, you'll have very few problems. As I said before, the Quake Injector and the database require some care, and it's a small price to pay for having your work featured on the site. A few days later, your map will appear in the database and on the front page of the site. I want to take a second to personally thank Spirit, Neki, and No Nickname for maintaining such a great resource for the Quake community. That's it. Thanks for hanging in there. Now go take a look at Quadicted.